back to our channel. Cloud is currently playing with his little cute stuffed animal. He loves to play. Um, but today's video is going to be how to potty train your Italian Greyhound. And um, like I said in my past video, I'm not an expert on Italian Greyhounds, nor am I an expert on dogs alone. So this has just worked for me. I hope it works for you. If you have any other suggestions or things that have worked for you, if you're just watching this and you own Italian Greyhounds or un-Italian Greyhound, um, feel free to share that information. It's, you're always going to learn every single day, so it's fun to see what other people do or if what I did helped you. I wish she was in the video. <laughs> so before my other video, I talked about how to stop your um, Italian Greyhound from crying. This is Cloud. I'm Ariana. Did I even introduce ourselves? I'm so bad at this. This is Cloud. I'm Ariana. He wants to play so badly. Um, but anyways, I'm going to share how it happened. So stay tuned. So in my last video, I shared with you what I did wrong and what I did right. So I'll do the same thing. So what my husband and I did wrong was that we gave him a crate that was huge and we would feed him in the crate and it was just super big and just didn't work. So because it's big, he thought he could be there and that's not what we wanted. We wanted a separate place for him to pee and poop and then a separate place to sleep and a separate place to eat his food. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of go into my mistake. So when we did get him from the breeder, when we arrived to kind of see like what it was about, um, like how she had them set up, she had other Italian Greyhounds. I think there was like maybe 10 or a little less of Italian Greyhounds in her home, but um, they all had a setup where they were out in basically pins, like giant crates where they had their bed, a place to use the restroom and a place to eat all together, all in one spot. And I believe he shared that space with another Italian Greyhound and we were going to have to break him or wash him of those bad tendencies or, you know, kind of set him up in a way that would work for us, which everyone's gonna have to do because everyone lives differently. Some people don't have backyards, some people don't have front yards and some people just don't have a big enough space in their house. So kind of just try to figure out what works for you and where you want these spots to be placed in your home or outside of your home. Now, when it comes to Italian Greyhounds, um, they, I feel like they are definitely more of an inside dog. I live in an apartment, so taking him out to the restroom wasn't and still isn't really an option. Um, even though you do potty train them, realize that with Italian Greyhounds, there are still some tendencies where they might have an accident or you take them over to someone's house, they have an accident or maybe their markers. Thankfully, he is a boy, but he is not a marker. I don't have that issue with him. He's not trying to pee on every little thing that he sees. I've taken him to a lake, to a park, and other places, and he doesn't try to pee on everything. And honestly, the times we have been out, he rather hold his pee and pee at home. That's just where he's more comfortable. So that's what we realized worked for us, that we are always going to have pee pads um, just in case, and just so that he can use those to use the restroom. It took about maybe four days for him to be potty trained. So stay tuned to see how that was possible. So the first thing I guess I'll go into is the type of pee pads that we get. We get the pretty big ones. Um, we got them from Costco and they work really well. We I use two at a time just so that he has a nice big spot. Um, I have a designated spot where he uses the restroom so he knows that's where I pee. Thankfully, the first couple days when we had him, he did have accidents, but not very many. And I also had this super nice, amazing carpet and I couldn't put it down for about a month. So also too, not only when this was Cloud's new home, this was also my husband and I's new home, new home as well. Um, we had just moved in, literally. I think four days after we moved in, we flew out to Washington and picked him up. So it was new for all of us. We all had to adjust and thankfully I didn't have a lot of furniture or things to get in the way and kind of just learn what works for all of us. And thank God I have wood floors. So there was nothing on the floors. Those chairs weren't back there. I also have baby gates. Those were also not back there. All I had was a couch and an entertainment center. So yeah. <laughs> Like I said he is the Costco pee pads. I've already picked a spot. We also have boundaries so he knows what's okay, what's not okay. 
Um, that's very important to have. So at night he is in the room with us. He is asleep in his crate or he's in his crate. We, don't, we didn't let him have free reign around the room for the first month. Now it's totally fine. He's totally potty trained. It took about a week, maybe four days even. Um, when I say week is when he had like two accidents. He's honestly been really good. I hope your Italian Greyhound is able to adjust and hopefully you're as lucky as me. If you don't have wood floors, um, I suggest maybe potty training them in your restroom if you have a big enough restroom to have a potty pad or even your kitchen where maybe there's a little spot that you can have just for your Iggy where if you have pee pads, maybe their food on the side, whatever. So I have his pee pads in one spot, which I'll show you in a second. I have his food in one spot and where he sleeps in another. So he had to learn that those were separate places and he wasn't gonna pee in his bed, he wasn't going to eat in his bed, and he wasn't going to make mistakes or have accidents. And this is set, we've kept it this way for about, I wanna say a month, because we've had him for a month and a half, and the first couple weeks was, or no, the first like week was a learning process for all three of us, so. Of course, like I said, they're going to have accidents. He did have one little tiny accident on this carpet. After a month, I trusted him. I believed that he was pretty much potty trained and that he learned where to pee. He was confident in himself. We had a routine and he wasn't having any accidents on the wood floor. Of course, he would dribble little bits of pee off his pee pad. You know, maybe he missed a little bit. That's going to happen. Um, so hopefully you're not doing this on carpet because realize even though if you do have a pee pad, uh, little tiny things like that are going to happen or their paws, they might step in their pee and leave a couple little checks. Anyways, so he did have one little accident on here and that was only because it was excitement pee. My husband came home for lunch, I believe. I had just taken him out to eat. Um, he hadn't gone pee yet and when my husband came, he was super excited. They were playing and he just popped a quick squat and peed a little bit. Um, Immediately we grabbed him took him to the pee pad. That's very important if you see them start to squat or start to look for a place to pee And this is why you have to t be very um, Keep a very close eye on your Italian Greyhound you need especially when it's the first couple of months You don't want to leave them alone You want to make sure that you are supervising them at all times or most times So that way they know that they can't get away with stuff or be sneaky or do things they're not supposed to so having a clean area not having a bunch of junk everywhere, letting them know what's what um, is very helpful and beneficial for you and it will help reduce a lot of little mistakes from your Iggy. Yeah, like I said, after four days, he was pretty much good to go. He had little accents or he was still kind of confused where I potty, but anytime we saw him about to squat, we would grab him. Like when he did pee on the floor, I grabbed him right away and was like, no, 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 no. Placed him on the pee pad, but don't freak them out. Don't be mean about it. Don't discipline them harshly. You just take them to their pee pad, say, this is potties, potties here. Um, when he would go pee, praise them. Or when your animal or your puppy, even if it isn't an Italian ground, but as soon as they pee or poop, once they're done, don't do it as they're peeing or as they're pooping because you will distract them and they'll stop what they're doing and get kind of confused. So let them go pee and praise them. Say, good job, buddy, or, you know, um, good potties, good potties, or good poops, good poops, or good pee just things and words that they'll know. So like I've said in my other video, there was a routine. Once he came out of his crate, um, the first two or three days I did this, um, instead of just letting him come out into my room and decide I gotta pee and let it all out there, because obviously when they're puppies, they don't really have full control of their bladder, I would literally get him out of his crate and carry him to the pee pad. I would stand there, and literally just not let him go anywhere. And I would say, go pee, go potties. I would keep saying it no matter how long it took. And they're stubborn. So sometimes they're like, no, I'm not gonna go pee. So you kind of have to at least give it five or 10 minutes. Sit there on your chair um, and just keep telling them, go potties, go potties. And he learned it and now he knows that word. And anytime that he comes out of the room, as soon as he says crate, obviously I don't carry him anymore. Now I let him out of the crate, the first thing he does is run to his pee pad and goes pee and goes poop, no problem. And to this day, I still praise him. I'm gonna keep doing that for probably a couple more months because um, you know, you don't wanna break them of their good habits. So yeah, that's what worked for me. Um, at night, I would try to get them to go to the restroom um, and stuff like that. I didn't really ever give him treats 
I would just give him really good praise and use the word potties, poops, and peas so he understands what he's doing and where it's being done. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the little spot that I chose and talk a little bit more about boundaries. So during the day, he is only allowed in the living room for the first month. Now I let him go in my room and stuff. He knows where potties is. So I leave the doors open so that if he does want to pee and we're hanging out in my room and he's in his little bed, he will literally get up and go to the restroom and then come back into the room. It's freaking awesome. I'm proud of it. He's done amazing work. And I know that, you know, it wasn't easy the first couple of days, but he's got it down and I'm super proud. And I really hope that these te little techniques work for you as well. So let's go ahead and check out where he pees. Okay, so the lighting isn't super great in here. This is his little pee area. These are from Costco. I believe it comes um, in a hundred um, and I think it's only like 15 bucks. I don't think every Costco has pee pads, but we are lucky to have found a Costco that does. So this is where he pees and poops. Um, I let him pee quite a couple times and I change it. For the rest of his life, we will have pee pads. It's really not that big of a deal. Like they're pee pads, get over it. Um, as for boundaries, we haven't really set this up 100%. He's super skinny, so he fits through these little slots. So I have those up for now until we figure out what we're gonna do. But we did order these baby gates so that way he knows he's not allowed in the kitchen, especially because we cook and clean. Um, this is my kitchen. Um, I don't want him in here so I don't step on him, especially because he's a puppy. You don't want to break his little stems, but we just have two gates. This is his little area to play. I have a little bed over there for him. And yeah, we're showing him where you go poops and peas. Okay, so here's where he sleeps. I don't have his blanket in there right now because I'm washing it. And then this is his bed that I told you guys in my last video I had him in. I put this up here at night on top of him so it's closed at the top. But he was a bad boy and chewed this. I need to sew it. I'm only allowed on this thing when I'm in the room and I can like supervise him and make sure he's not chewing anything as he's chewing on something. I don't know what. He's always been snapping. So yeah, this is where he sleeps in our room. Totally different. So now when I let him out, the first thing he does in the morning is run over here. These doors are open. I have a nightlight that comes on. It's motion censored so that it's not super black and we're not scared. So as soon as he comes over here, that light turns on and he's able to go pat. But like I said, back to this little spot, I totally forgot to say this. I would literally pick him up, carry him all the way over here. I would sit down on this bar and literally tell him repeatedly for five or ten minutes to go potties. He would stare at me with a blank stare, wasn't really sure what I wanted, and then as soon as he would go, I would praise the heck out of him, make him feel like he did the best thing ever, and yeah. Okay, so moving on from the pee pads, that's the separate area. Over here, I have his food and water dish. Now, when he was first potty training, I did not free, I did not free feed him. We had a schedule, nine in the morning, was breakfast and six at night was dinner. And I will explain why. They're puppies, they don't have full control of their bladder. You do not want them to go to bed with a full tummy because um, then they're gonna be crying, which he kind of does sometimes when he has to pee really bad. Um, I get up obviously, but in the middle of the night, even when he wasn't crying, I would just let him come out with me and still even to like this day, cause I go, pee, I have to pee all the time at night cause I like to drink a lot of water, especially in Colorado. It's been so freaking hot lately. But every time that I would go to the restroom, so would he. And now he does perfectly fine. As soon as he gets out of bed, goes to the restroom, walks back in his crate, and goes back to bed. So, yeah. Well, I hope the way of how I do things is helpful. If you are not as lucky as me to where you can have all these little different spots and maybe you don't have wood floors or things like that, just try to find a designated area where he's not going to make mistakes. They like this for her. They like um, peeing on carpets or fabrics and things like that, especially wherever you bought them or purchased them or got them from. You have no idea how they were trained. Like I said in my other video as well, he was five months old, so we had bad habits that I had to get rid of. So that's what worked for me. And it only took four days, you guys. Um, I hope you're as lucky as I am to have had that um, fast of a potty training. Um, but I was scared at first because he was peeing, he peed in his bed. Another thing in my video, the benefits to having a smaller crate for them at night or when you go places is that they are not comfortable enough to stand up and pee and poop, so they will hold it. Um, 
obviously like don't think that I neglect my animal he holds it and it's not that big of a deal he's not gonna get sick from it or anything like that he has to learn um, pee tolerance I guess or bladder tolerance how much you know he can hold for a long time because he is a puppy and he needs to learn to hold it a little longer as he gets older so that is what worked for us oh he's so cute he's such a good little boy uh, but um that's what worked for us and uh, i hope it works for you and like i've said if it if you don't have the same type of living space that i do try to figure out your kitchen maybe you can block off a little area where he can he or she can have pee pads a place to eat and then obviously the place to sleep would be in your room or somewhere else but you can even do that. You can even have the food next to the pee pad if you wanted to. I just like him to know that there's separate places that if he had a treat somewhere, he's not going to be like, oh, I can eat and pee here, whatever. Um, I just try to minimize as much accidents as possible. And thankfully, I have not had accidents. We, he hasn't honestly had an accident in a really long time. Um, like I've said, it's been a month and a half since I've had him. The first four days obviously was a learning thing of where to be potty trained. I don't take him outside to use the restroom. He has not been outside to use the restroom because um, he's a puppy and I'm he's pretty much living the apartment life. That's the type of lifestyle that he has. Although we go to lakes and stuff, he still like won't or hasn't peed. We were at the lake for like four or five hours this weekend and he wasn't trying to pee. He didn't cry or anything like that. Um, as soon as we got home, though, he used the restroom, so he was fine. Um, but yeah, you just want to make sure they're comfortable and that it works for them and it also works for you. But again, they're in your home, so do what also is less of a hassle for you, more comfortable for you, and what you're able to do. There are other types of potty training methods. Um, like I said, I didn't use treats. I just used a lot of praise and it all worked out. So I hope you guys the best of luck. I hope this worked for you or helped you in some type of way. If you are having problems with potty training or have questions that I wasn't able to answer or um, things like that, feel free to leave a comment down below, like this video, and also subscribe to our channel because I am pretty dedicated on making this a channel for Cloud and I to show his progress and things like that. So stay tuned to our journey, and we will talk to you later. Cloud, come here. You want to say bye? I know you're eating, but you got to say bye. Say bye. Say bye, Cloud. <laughs>